I've had a few questions about how to manage fonts in Bootstrap Studio. So we've got a new design, like often I do. Go to this one, Material Portfolio. You can go to any one you want. Create. So here we've got this uh, this one here. Right. If we go down here on the right hand side, we see fonts. And this one is Lato or Lato, which is the main font on here. And if we go up to this here and appearances body. So down here on this, if you scroll down, you'll see you know a lot of things that's going on actually in this design and it also goes on about uh, the fonts as well but we kind of change that because they're locked off so that's the developers that's done that and um, there we see serif if I can just go in there sorry there might be a few times we have to zoom in so if, I hope it's not too annoying so here we got uh, Liberation Monaco Consalas. Um, the the thing to remember though with using fonts, use about four or five. That's really main ones. For example, Arial, Open Sans, things like that. Because um, you got to always still think about people who maybe haven't got uh, up to date computers. They won't see some of the some of the fancy ones, perhaps. Um, so just use four or five hours of the main, you know, the main uh, type of ones. So here we go on the right hand side. Again, I'm sorry if this is going to annoy with the uh, zooming in, but it is essential on this type of thing. So here we have on here, we've got, hello, I am John Smith. I work as an interface, etc, etc. So that is in black color. So to change that, you just do that and then as you see on here then the um, the whole colors changed on that so you've got the font size 16 and you've got the font family which is layer two and then uh, apostrophe sans serif and there are very popular ones but we can change that we can put in Arial as our default one or anyone so if you just do Arial because you know Arial is going to be one of these that's and as as you can see there actually it's doing it in real time apostrophe so do that again now it's Lato because that's the first one on the font family um yeah so I mean you can do open sans open sans and we just go back to Arial and they didn't do that. Underneath, it's got the style. It's got bold, italics, underline, and um, whatever that is, strike through. So you could do that. So there it is there, strike through. So that's basically how you would do, you know, and change the fonts actually in this design. And that works, of course, on, on all these themes that's in Bootstrap Studio and the ones that you would use yourself. Here, if we go down to fonts, on the design part so you go to fonts and lay it over there and again that's locked we can't do anything about that unless we go up to where i've just just shown Arial and that type of thing so if you go to fonts and just right click that manage fonts and this was another question about import web font well what you would have to do there is to do that is that would take you to your computer and wherever you have put the web fonts which is a css thing and then you could uh, play around with them but again don't um don't like use things that's uh you know quite rare if you like old english for example um font don't don't use something like that because some some computers i mean most computers probably will have that on but i'm just giving that as an example just go for what you you know what, what everybody has and that would be easier to do on that so 
So in a nutshell, this is where you would change everything. So it's it's under appearance and then body, and then you would play around with whatever you want, 